Well, good morning. Happy uh, October 17th uh, today. It's a uh, Saturday, so um, yeah. Can't quite if you can tell I'm pulling both uh, wagons. Yeah, that sounds loud. Uh, with my pickup truck. Um, my mom's actually at the elevator right now emptying the last wagon. Um, I only have around 13 acres left today to do. Um, kind of hoping. Um, so the elevator takes corn until noon um, and then just hoping to get these this finished up and then I have I would say 35 ish acres left to go so not much at all um, yeah but uh, obviously as you saw in my last video had some unfortunate issues and, oops <laughs> uh, see if this is still going getting used to the GoPro yeah all good there um, but uh, yeah we'll get going see how it is there is a frost today but uh, I did um, <laughs> hopefully I'm good there because uh, uh, the one time I didn't take the uh, or I did a load um, in the combine and then let it sit and then it was froze up um, I didn't think it was gonna get this cold it's only it's 34, so it's really not that cold, but um, I could get the unloading auger to go. And as you'll see in just a second, I do have the combine full, trust the old 9500. Uh, well, let's see what I can do with my pickup truck and not tearing off all of the uh, plastic down below uh, I had said it earlier in this spring um, when we got this field tiled uh, I was just gonna be so excited to be able to bring wagons down here because last year every load off from this field had to go with the combine through a narrow muddy driveway because uh, I don't run a cart and so this uh, this year just having the ability to do this is amazing so um, I'm just gonna leave this right here and then put my pickup truck out of the way so let's do that beautiful morning thankful to God for that okay use my strong hand <laughs> scary movie reference so oh, my truck is dirty. okay let's get this truck out of the way and go get the combine fired up it's just this little bit left but um, overall the uh, the quality has been good this year the moisture has been good yields are leaving a bit to be desired um, let's see I just don't want to rip off all my plastic that would be not good uh, help if I'd put it into gear yeah I'm you know it's unfortunate about the 9760 um, it's not the combines fault uh, at all uh, it's uh, yeah but uh, you know not too many times that when you make a decision on a new piece of equipment you know that you get to go one last round with a 
Do you trust the old friend? And, uh, you know, the 9500's been a good combine for me, so I can't say, uh, I can't say that I'm, I will be glad to find her a new home. I want to find, find her a new home just to, um, okay. Just so she can keep, <laughs> I speak in gender, but you know, uh, but just so she can keep working and, and going. Let's see if this is that's still recording. <laughs> Getting used to it. Although now she's dirty because it was dusty. Okay. Be smarter than the key. I'm gonna go check the oil and everything beforehand. Okay, it's all good. Oh, back going again. I should have taken the video of checking the oil and everything, but um, I just wanted to be able to get going and uh, and I should have taken a video. It's a, it was a pretty cold start this morning. Uh, the old girl uh, sounded sounded good. <laughs> uh, I don't like to make a habit of a cold start, but yeah. So, uh, 
hook the Ram 2500 up to the wagon. I have to pull a hill. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I'm praying it will, because that will allow me to finish up today, but yeah. We'll see how it goes, but finish up with this field and pray for the best. Because <laughs> I'd like to get it there and emptied before they close. And uh, it's just a single, but there is a hill. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. But turn back around. Yeah. to have gotten one last, potentially one last hurrah with her. Um, so, yeah. Don't know if that will work, but uh, just about finished up here. Couple rabbits. 